So welcome to all of you. My name is Terrence Dixon. I'm Vice President for Enrollment and Student Success here at Shaw. So I want to thank you and welcome you and congratulate you as parents of admitted students to Shaw University for the fall. Uh, you ought to be congratulated for getting your students thus far along the way, as they would say. Uh, and I know that you have, uh, have to be very, very proud of them. We are. Uh, this class looks to be a very strong class for us here at Shaw in the fall. And so we're glad that you're able to join us tonight. We are hopeful that this, this meeting tonight will be able to answer some questions for you. Um, and if you had questions that you will be able to now go back and, and, and feel comfortable with your students coming to Shaw in the fall. But more importantly, we wanna make sure that we are clear that all questions are fair questions for us here uh, and that we are here to assist you and your student on this journey uh, in the next part of their academic endeavor. Uh, this is a, an exciting time for us uh, as we are closing a school year, uh, about to welcome a new class. This is just an exciting time. So I want to thank you for uh, taking some time as I know it's busy for you as well as they are closing up the senior year of high school and all the activities and festivities that go along with that. Uh, but with that, I want to thank all of you and at any point in time during this presentation tonight, you have questions, please make sure you use your chat feature uh, and we'll be glad to answer any of those questions that way. And at the end of the presentation, be here to answer questions that you may have uh, for us. Again, thank you so much on behalf of uh, Shaw University and its president, Dr. Paula Dillard and the entire administration here for your, your time with us this evening. Thank you, Mr. Dixon, for that wonderful welcome. I apologize to you all. My camera is not working properly this evening. It was working when I logged on. It is no longer working. Um, but we're going to move on with the program. You'll see my face in just a moment. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone to um, type your questions in the chat as we go along, and we will answer them as we go. We're going to kind of roll through um, our process this afternoon, this evening. But again, if you'll just type your questions. We'll get a answer for you. Thank you all for joining us. My name is Jaleesa Sutton. I am the Director of Student Retention. Um, retention being all things first year students, all things second year students. Also, we have a new Surprise Our Mail initiative this year, and we'll talk to you a little bit more about that um, throughout the presentation. Um, but I want to tell you a little bit about our office and what we do here. So our office serves to assist students with a successful transition from either high school to college or from the community college into our Shaw University environment. We are here to assist your student uh, with everything that they need during their first year. We know that this could be a stressful time. It's a time of transition. And so we're really here to engage your student to make sure that they are informed, that they're engaged in their educational process. Um, and anything that they need, we're here to support them in our office. And so we do that by focusing on our four retention areas. So academic support, as far as our academics are concerned, we partner very closely with the Office of Academic Success to ensure that students are successful, whether that means hosting academic boot camps or checking in with students, completing retention plans. We do all of that here to ensure your student success. Also, making sure that your students are engaged. Again, this is a time of transition. This is a time to, you know, um, explore and figure out who we are as students and, and individuals. So we'll provide engagement opportunities throughout the summer, during new student orientation, and throughout their first and second year. Career exploration. We partner very closely with Ms. Ray. You'll get to meet her later on in our presentation. Um, for career exploration. So we'll be talking a little bit more about our assessments throughout the summer to engage your students. Ms. Ray comes to our first year um, experience courses to speak with students about career exploration, um, resume building, all of these things to prepare your students for the next step post-graduation. And last but not least, overall wellness, right? With the pandemic and everything that's happening in the world, we wanna ensure that our students are well on campus. We partner very closely throughout the year with the Counseling Center um, and other health organizations on campus throughout the year to ensure that our students are well, 
our weekly check-ins with students, maybe a, hey, knock on the door or a Zoom meeting. How are you doing? Do you need anything? Is there anything that we can provide for you? You know, just making sure that our students are overall um, well and taken care of while they're on campus, right? And so one of the, um, the, I guess the biggest things that we do here in our office is to onboard and orient our students um, during that transition process. And I'm being intentional about my wording here because there is a difference between onboarding and orientation. And so from the looks of things, um, everyone on this call with maybe a set, an exception of a few have already started the onboarding process. And my job here is to help you through this process to get to the orientation phase. Um, these are a few pictures from our previous orientation sessions. If you'll look um, at these beautiful young faces behind me, these are our peer orientation mentors. You will get to know them um, throughout your onboarding and orientation experience. Um, this is not just for students, parents. We have sessions during orientation just for you. Um, you can see a photo of that in the upper right. We have sessions just for parents to answer the questions um, that you may have coming in as well. So in reference to that onboarding process, we're starting with admissions to Shaw University. Congratulations, you've all, your students have been admitted. We've already passed step one. Um, the majority of you have already paid your enrollment deposit. If you have not already, I will provide links at the end of this presentation so that you can do that. I'll also type those in the chat for you. You wanna make sure that you're you're paying your enrollment deposit, that you've completed your 2022-2023 FAFSA, that you register for new student orientation, complete your housing application. Again, it looks as though most of you are kind of in this area here, so you've already completed these things. So we're all kind of here submitting our health documents, making sure that we get those um, COVID vaccination cards in, your medical information, all of those things, submitting your final transcripts. We know that most high schools um, are not graduating until June, we understand that, but please make sure that you submit your final transcripts. Placement testing, you'll hear a little bit more about that throughout the summer. Be sure that you're checking your email for those dates. And last but not least, we wanna make sure that you begin to pay or pay in full your fall 2022 tuition payment. We do have payment plans available if needed. And last but not least, you see this this image at the end, and you're like, what is that, Miss Sutton? That is the golden key. That is your access key to Bear Country. Once you have completed this onboarding process, you will receive an electronic key that lets you know that your student is ready to move in. All of the paperwork and onboarding has been taken care of, and so they are now ready to transition to an authentic orientation experience. You're not coming here to fill out paperwork. You've already done that on the front end. Right, so that is our onboarding process and that golden key is the golden ticket at the end of the rainbow. All right, so we wanna make sure that you get there. If you have any questions about the onboarding process, I am here to assist you throughout your summer. New student orientation, really quickly. I know I'm running out of time. Um, these are just a couple of photos from our new student orientation last year. Um, when your student comes to campus for new student orientation, they can expect to learn how to navigate our platforms. So Bears Net, how to access their bill, their grades, um, eBooks, all of these things. We have electronic books here. We'll go through time management workshops, study skills workshops. Um, we'll talk to them about scholarships and work study. And um, we'll have some social events, of course. We want our students to become acclimated to Shaw's culture. And so we'll teach them Shaw traditions and game time chants while they're here. They'll have a good time. They're in good hands. Um, a photo of some of our first year programs. This is a photo of cases. This is our fall convocation. Um, I, I chose this, these pictures specifically because I wanted to mention to you all that when your students come to campus, they will have to attend um, one case every month. And so what we are asking is that they come to campus with their dress attire. So white shirts, black bottoms for young ladies, that's a white blouse, um, button down shirts for young men. We will provide the blazers and the tie, but we do need them to come to campus having their white shirts and black bottoms. Their first case is in, at the end of August. So they need to come to campus with these things in hand. Last but not least, I wanted to share with you all um, who have male students, 
attending Shaw this fall. This is our Rites of Passage Mail Initiative. I'm so excited about it. Uh, we are introducing these young men to our campus community um, really soon, and they've just worked so hard. Um, and the purpose of the Rites of Passage is really to mold and develop a positive identity uh, with these young men and having them to understand the transition from boyhood to manhood. Because at the end of the day, if we bring students in and they leave the same way that they came, we haven't done our job. And so this group is just here to create a sense of brotherhood on campus, a sense of belonging. Um, these They hold each other accountable. They're actually here right now um, for study hall this evening. So, you know, if you have a, a, a young male student who is interested in joining the Rice of Passage program, um, we'll be providing information throughout the summer for them to sign up. This is my contact information. If you have any questions about the onboarding process, orientation, first year programs, second year programs, transition programs, transfer programs, please send me an email at osr at shawu.edu. Again, my name is Julissa Sutton, and I will turn it over now to Ms. Lorena Halls Taylor. Greetings. I'm Ms. Lorena Halls Taylor, the Office of Academic Success Specialist here at Shaw University. I'd like to welcome you to Shaw University. I'll be um, providing you some important information in reference to the Academic Success Center. So the, the service that we provide here at the Office of Academic Success is academic advisement for undecided majors, early alert intervention plan for faculty who identify students who need assistance due to academic performance, class participation, and behavioral issues. We also provide services for attendance intervention plan for faculty who identify students with poor attendance. We also have a new system in place for, that's called Upswing, which is a 24-7 live tutoring service that helps students improve their grades in class, assist with study habits and additional free resources provided by Shaw University. Also, as the academic success specialist, I also provide academic workshops in reference to study strategies for work, study strategies, time management workshops and personal growth workshops. For additional information in reference to upswing and, and the intervention plan, you may also contact us at 919-582-4990. And my email address is lhallstail at shawu.edu. Our business hours is eight to four, Monday through Friday, and we're located in Yancey Suite, 20, Suite 233. Thank you. Next up, we will have Ms. Morgan Ray, our Director of Experiential Learning and Career Development. All right. I hope you all can see my screen here. My name is Ms. Ray. I am the Director of Experiential Learning and Career Development. And <clears throat> there's a couple of things that I just want to share with you all um, for your students as they uh, attend Shaw and as they matriculate and work towards their career development and experiential learning. All right. So first of all, I just want to share a little bit about my staff and who we are. Um, like I said, I am the director of the center, and I am also um, very happy to have my new career advisor, Kara Pomley, joining our team this year. And he is really, he is on board and ready to work with our students for upcoming events, coaching, counseling, and things of that nature. And I also wanted to share with you all some information about our work study students who help push our office through in serving all of the students across campus. Um, our work study students help with resume writing. They help point students in the right direction and are, have just been an overall joy to have in our office this year. So I want to share that with you all as you know, next year that could be you or that could be your student uh, joining us. All right. 
So I want to start by saying, you know, giving you a little bit of information about what career development means for our office and what it means for Shaw and some of the services that we offer our students. Um, pretty much, you know, we work with them on making career decisions, exploring different options, getting a really firm understanding so that they can choose the right major, so that they can choose the right career path related to those majors, so they can look beyond the surface level of what they think um, their major is all about. So we offer assessments, evaluations. Um, we will help them create career plans and execute those plans in the best, uh, the most strategically way possible. We'll work with them on developing their resumes and cover letters so that they can make the best impact or impression on the employers that we connect them with. We provide mock interviews, workshops, interview preparation, graduate school preparation and application support, giving that second look over to make sure there's no errors, uh, to make sure that they touch on all the points needed to make sure they're the best candidate and considered for the opportunities that they're applying for. So basically, we just kind of give all of these different services and support to our students. And I did want to include some visuals to help out with that, to show the different types of workshops, the different employers that we're connecting to them to. Um, hosting uh, career fairs each semester, whether it is an on-campus uh, career fair, whether it is a virtual career fair, or a collaboration with other universities. Those are all things that take place out of our office. Okay. So again, that career development piece, making sure that our students at Shaw have their world of work documents together, making sure that they are understanding and developing their professional demeanor. That way, when we send them out to those interviews and send them out um, for those experiential opportunities that they are prepared, okay? And just helping them develop their own narrative and being career ready, okay? So I just wanted to give another visual of some of the things uh, that we may help them with, whether it's writing the resume or developing that cover letter to make the biggest impact possible, okay? We wanna make sure that these documents are professional, well-groomed, and just overall ready. I wanna share with you all some of the tools that our office has acquired to assist students in preparing for their career development needs. Things such as VitaNavis, which is the Strong Interest Assessment, which helps with career exploration, identifying those opportunities and connecting them to their major. We utilize Handshake, which we will, we really want our students to utilize this tool. This is our virtual job board and resource for other career development things. Um, this is where a lot of the, the career magic will happen. So we wanna make sure that all of our students are aware and taking advantage of this. And then lastly, we have interview stream. So we all know that sometimes students, uh, sometimes our students, this is their very first time even pursuing a job period. So in addition to our in-person or virtual support, interview stream is another means for them to practice their interview skills, reviewing themselves, giving themselves some instant feedback as they are recording themselves, as they are going through different questions. So these are just some of the tools and resources that we have for them, okay? All right, and then I wanted to talk about the experiential learning piece. So a lot of people, they don't know what that experiential learning form is. What is that? So it's learning by doing. So this piece that we wanna focus on is about the career fairs, building those relationships with employers and bringing them in to actually hire our students placing our students in meaningful internships, not just an internship just to say they have one, but something that will add value to them, something where they will be able to acquire um, technical skills um, that can transfer into other opportunities. Study abroad also falls under this office. So if your child or student is interested in going abroad to study for skills training or anything like that, that is also something that we can work with them on. And then lastly, work study, which we'll speak with Mr. Wari about shortly, okay? So one of my focuses as the director in the center is that I want our students to understand that their career development, their professional development, this is their brand. You know, I want them to understand that every single piece of what they do, not just on the academic side at Shaw, but in the career development office, you know, we are helping them mold themselves and build their brand as a professional that is a product of an HBCU. Okay. And 
in addition to building that brand, um, whether it is on a virtual platform, we also want to prepare our students to look the part of the professional. So thankfully, we have here a donations based career clothing closet um, that can provide some clothing for our students um, should they need it for an interview, should they need it for an award ceremony or something of that nature. However, we also want to make sure that you send your student to Shaw with some of the, the basic necessities of professional clothing, okay? We do want to make sure that we can help as much as we can on our side with the clothing closet, but sending them ahead, making sure that they're prepared and can swap out some of those pieces will be really helpful. All right. So like I mentioned before, building that brand, uh, we want to make sure that our students are prepared for their professional headshots, their professional presence, you know, creating these banners, showing them and putting them out there into the world. These are just some of our students that took their professional headshots during um, during this last campaign in March. So the students really enjoyed it. They enjoyed dressing up. They enjoyed putting these on their LinkedIn profiles and just another step towards connecting um, with the employers. All right, so overall, we want to make sure our students are career ready and that they touch on some of the most important pieces that employers are seeking, that critical thinking, teamwork, uh, information and technology, professionalism, career management, leadership, all of these things that employers are seeking, we are here to assist your student in preparing them for their postgraduate success. So should any of you, um, should your student need support over the summer if they're interested in taking some of those assessments early, getting the jump on things, they're more than welcome to reach out to us here in the Career Center. Um, we have our, I will go back to our email address and my contact information. And should they want to take an assessment over the summer, they can reach out to me directly at morgan.ray at shawu.edu, or they can send an email to careerdevelopment at shawu.edu. That's all for me. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Ray. Awesome presentation. And Mr. Wawari, if you have a few words for us. Yes. Um, again, my name is Daniel Wawari. Um, I'm a senior financial aid counselor. In the financial aid office, I help administer the federal work study program uh, in collaboration with my colleague, uh, Ms. Morgan Ray. And actually, I'm going to use part of our screen to add a little blurb. Uh, Ms. Ray, if you could go back to uh, the handshake logo and also the work study, just to start with the handshake, just to say a little thing to our great students. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Ms. Ray. Um, so one of the key things I wanted to mention to, to, uh, to the students is that federal work study eligibility is actually determined by completing your FAFSA. So make sure you've already completed your FAFSA for the 2022-2023 and that you've made sure you've indicated on your FAFSA that you're interested in work study. So make sure you answer that question and say yes. Don't say no or don't say I don't know. Always indicate that you are interested in work study. Uh, and also one key thing, always make sure that you are completing your FAFSA as early as October 1st of each year to maximize your chances of being awarded uh, federal work study because the funds are based on a first come first serve basis. Um, just like my colleague mentioned earlier, all federal work study jobs uh, are housed and listed at the Career Center uh, website, which is Handshake. You see the logo right here. Um, so every opportunity will be listed on there. We want every student to be able to apply uh, for the various opportunities that will be listed on there. And <clears throat> one major thing that is, if you have any additional inquiries or questions about a federal work study eligibility or the process, you can email workstudy at showyou.edu. Again, that's workstudy at showyou.edu. Thank you. All right, again, my camera is not working this evening. My, I apologize. But I wanted to ask if we have any questions. Um, I did receive one private message in the chat. Were there any questions this evening for any of our presenters? Feel free to unmute yourselves and ask or type your questions in the chat. Um, I have one question in the chat about um, meal plans. Um, so full-time students um, have a 19 meal per week meal plan. 
Um, it is part of their tuition. Um, it says meal plans for students with allergies. So our cafeteria has just been renovated. We have a beautiful space and students who have certain allergies are able to go into that space. It's set up kind of buffet style. And so they are able to, you know, kind of eat whatever um, they are allowed to eat with their food allergies. They have, um, you know, their pick of or their choice of several different areas in the cafeteria. So if they have a food allergy, um, they can certainly ask one of our representatives in the cafeteria and um, make a great decision. Are there any other questions? We're going to think we were extremely thorough. If not, don't be shy. There's just one bit of information I'd like to share with parents uh, that we kind of have now that I'd like to share. Uh, and that is, is that for all students, new students that are that will be coming to Shaw in the fall that have actually completed uh, the onboarding process, uh, we will be in a position to, to discount their room rate for the year by $500 and to, um, and to purchase books for the academic year. So want to be sure that everybody understands that as well. Thank you, Mr. Dixon. I actually just had a question about books being included in tuition. So that, that, that answer was right on time. Thank you. Okay, I see someone typing last question. Um, so the question is asking if athletes reside in the same dorm. Typically, yes, our athletes are housed in our Tabor Osaw Living Learning Center. Um, they are split up by floor for the most part. But yes, um, our athletes do reside in the same dorm, first year students. Okay, someone said one more question. Okay, so the question is, can freshmen have a vehicle? Okay, all right. So freshmen, first year students are not allowed to park on campus unless there is some extenuating circumstance. Our first year students are not allowed to park their vehicles on campus. Okay, so the question is asking, who do we talk to regarding transferring AP credits and class placement? So that's a wonderful question. We will connect you with your academic advisor um, to discuss your transfer credits and your class placement. So please, everyone, be sure to have your students to check their email throughout the summer. We will be communicating with them um, about their class schedules and their advisements. Also, um, placement testing, please be on the lookout for an email concerning placement tests. Um, that is how we will communicate with your students. So if they are not in the habit of checking their emails, please, 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 please encourage them to do so um, throughout this process. All right, I have another question. Move in day. Move in day it will take place on Thursday, August the 11th. You, once you have paid your enrollment deposit and completed your housing application, um, you will receive follow-up communications from the Office of Housing and Residence Life. Um, with your time to move in and residence hall um, number. Next question, will an advisor help athletes schedule, um, I guess their classes to avoid conflict? Absolutely. Um, we are aware of um, athletic schedules and practice schedules and things like that and so as much as we possibly can, we do try to work with our athletes to ensure that they are um, able to attend their classes and practices um, without conflict. When will they receive the room assignment? Students will receive their room assignment um, from the Office of Housing and Residence Life over the summer once they have paid the enrollment deposit and completed their housing application. So again, be sure to check your emails for correspondence from the Office of Housing and Residence Life. Okay, I see a question here. What is the transition from the summer program to the fall? Are you referring to the Summer Academy Institute? All right, thank you. Um, Mr. Dixon, would you mind taking this question? Sure, students that are uh, attending the Summer Academy Institute will be able to, um, at the end of the Institute, um, if they've completed all of their move-in um, things prior to the end of the, of the summer, will be able to uh, transition some of the things to their new, new living space for fall. Um, but they must have all things in place for the fall semester for that to happen by the end of the, by the, end of the summer program. Thank you. 
our next question, when will students be able to register for fall classes? So once you've completed the enrollment process, that um, long process with the key at the end, the students will be registered for their fall classes. We have an advisor on hand to register our first year students for their classes. And so we will communicate with your student when they will be able to log into BearsNet and to check their schedule. These are great questions. While you're still thinking about questions, I will also encourage parents, we've sent this to students and asked them to do it, but I think Mr. Rewari will appreciate this. We've asked all uh, of our students that are planning to attend in the fall to go to the UNCF website, that's uncf.org. Uh, we are a member of UNCF. There are, they are scholarship dollars available there, have them complete the profile and to start applying for scholarships there. There are plenty of opportunities from UNCF at UNCF for our students, and we'd love for them to apply for them. Also, um, while we are waiting for the next batch of great questions for Lynn, I wanted to share with you all my screen. I'm hoping that you can see it. Can everyone see my screen? Okay. So this is our new student orientation um, webpage. And if you click under first year students, um, the checklist is here for you all. And so if no matter where you are in the process, um, these steps are labeled, these steps are numbered. Um, so please make sure that you complete this enrollment checklist prior to new student orientation. This will make your life and our lives so much easier on the back end um, so that when you come for new student orientation, we are actually going through an orientation process and what I've uh, noticed is that a lot of you, your students have completed all of these steps except for the online orientation. And I just wanted to click on it for just a second. Come on, technology. So here, you still see my screen? Okay, so this is the new virtual new student orientation landing page. Um, your students will come here to log in to complete it. If you'll look to the right, it says, are you a parent or a guest? I encourage you all to complete this orientation as well so that you are getting the same information that the students are getting, just in case they forget to maybe do something. You all can give them a gentle reminder hey, these things are due, make sure you're meeting the deadline. So please have your students to log in and complete the online orientation. And I encourage you all to complete it as well right here under the parent or guest section. Well, all right, if there are no other questions, we thank you all so much for joining us tonight. If you think of any other questions, I'll hang out for just a few moments. All of our information is typed in the chat. Um, you can send us an email at any time. Thank you again for joining us and have a wonderful night. Have a good night.